Hi class. This week we're going to do a review of chapter two, and then you guys will take your retest later this week. So starting out, here's just the chapter objective. Okay, so let's talk about what's happening with uh, each heartbeat. You have your uh, PQRST, which remember we talked about when the atria contract, that uh, it writes your P wave. When the ventricles contract, it writes your QRS wave. And when the ventricles relax again, it writes your T wave on the EKG strip. Okay, so here's a little uh, cute mnemonic to help you remember that. And it's uh, P is for the pain required to learn EKG. Q is for how quickly these facts disappear from my brain. R is for how ridiculously awesome a heartbeat is. S is for searching textbooks for answers. And T is for always trying to decode the rhythm. Okay, so in this illustration, we see uh, the SA node firing and um, the blood emptying into the ventricles and then out to the body, okay? So your electrical impulse spreads from your SA node, which our SA node is our primary uh, pacemaker for the heart, okay? That causes the atria to contract and expel the blood into the ventricle. And then it moves down through your uh, AV node and down through the bundle branches to the left and right ventricle, which causes the ventricles to contract and force the blood out into the general circulation or out uh, into your body, okay? So here's what your EKG strip looks like when that's happening. Here you see your SA node fires, then it writes your P wave, which is your atrial depolarization. Then it travels to the AV node and then on to uh, the ventricle where it writes your QRS, causing the ventricular depolarization. And then here, uh, as it travels on to uh, write the T wave, when the ventricles contract. Okay, here's just another illustration of that for um, those of you, whichever one uh, speaks to you best. Okay, it's gonna always be the same, it's gonna always be your PQRST, okay? So here's what's also happening, which is called your action potential. So when you're when that atria uh, is stimulated and contracts, it opens up what's called the sodium and potassium pump, which keeps your um, things in balance. Okay, so when that when the gates open, you have potas a sodium that rushes in to the cell, and potassium rushes out. Okay. And then after that takes place, you get to what's called your refractory period in which things are, um, it goes back to arresting potential and reestablishes that sodium and potassium pump. So at the time when it's in your refractory period, the sodium gates are closed, okay? And here's an illustration of that taking place. So with every beat of my heart, Sodium rushes in, potassium rushes out, and then it does it again, woo -hoo, woo -hoo, as long as I'm living. Okay, anybody want to sign me to a record deal? I'm available, okay? So here's an illustration of that taking place, your SA node firing and that electrical impulse going through um, the ventricles and contracting and doing its thing, okay? The cardiac conduction system, again, we see the electrical impulse starts in the SA node, which is your primary pacemaker. Now, the process that we just talked about with the heartbeat and the action potential and everything, that action potential is taking place about 75 times per minute, okay? 
So when that impulse goes down to the uh, AV node and the bundle of his, it slows that high speed impulse uh, from the SA node so that it allows the ventricles to completely fill uh, with, with enough blood to be able to um, push out to the body. Okay, then your impulse is gonna end uh, as it goes through your left bundle branches and the Purkinje fibers, stimulates the ventricle walls to contract. And then this process again starts all over. Here again is another illustration of that uh, conduction pathway where you have uh, in your right atrium, the SA node, and then that signal. Now your book talks about the interatrial tract and the internodular tract. That's right in here, you guys. Okay. So then an impulse goes down through the AV node, the bundle of his, and the Purkinje fibers, and then out uh, ventricles contracting and pushing the blood out to the body. Now your cardiac cells have certain characteristics. Extensibility, this is one that is not mentioned uh, in your text, but it is just the ability of the, um, the cells to uh, stretch, okay? Excitability is the ability of those cardiac cells to respond to that electrical stimulus. Conductivity is the ability of them to um, receive the electrical stimulation and then transport, transmit that stimulus to the other cells. And contractility is the ability of the cells to shorten and cause the muscle contraction. And automaticity is the ability of the cardiac pacemaker cells to make their own electrical impulses. Okay, so we have three uh, pacemakers of the heart. And remember we said the SA node is our primary pacemaker. That's what keeps our heartbeat between that normal level of the 60 to 100, okay? Now, if that SA node fails, or as we like to call, say, get sick, then your uh, second pacemaker will take over, which is the AV node. However, it's not as strong as that impulse that comes from the SA node, so you're going to see a reduced heart rate, and that heart rate is going to be between 40 and 60. Okay, now let's say, of course, we know that heart is pumping hard, even harder now. So when that AV node, if this patient is not being uh, properly treated at this stage, then they'll progress on when that AV node pacemaker gives out, then it gets to that last pacemaker, which is the ventricle. And guys, when that patient gets down into that uh, ventricular uh, pacemaker, which only uh, carries a heartbeat of about between 20 and 40, if you're looking at them, they're probably blue and purple, okay? Because they're not able to get enough blood out to their extremities. Okay, so here's your first assignment. You're gonna list uh, five key points that you learned from this video. And also tell me if this video helped you to understand the chapter so far. Okay, submit your picture when done. And I will see you guys next lecture. Bye-bye.